<laughs> I know y'all don't like this. I know y'all don't like this. But Coach Shelton Harrison is going to offer you guys a collector's item edition. Yes, this is the Triple G, the Bum Hunter collector's item edition. Now, with this Bum Hunter edition, I mean, guys, look, you can you can kick it, you can piss on it, you can spit on it, you can take a dump on it. I mean, you can roll around in the dirt. You can do whatever you want to do. And this doll, this is the this is the doll that loves you back, okay? And also, if you feed this doll cherries, I noticed that if you feed it cherries, this doll will produce money for you. Now, gosh, what does that sound familiar? Now, let's just be real. Let's be real right now about this. Uh, listen, there's a man, there's a grown man watching this video right now who's got one of these dolls. And listen, what fourth dimension of hell did they get this doll from? What fourth dimension of hell did this, this doll come from? Because there's a man, there's a grown man who's about 40, 40, 42, 43. He's got one of these on his nightstand and he's a virgin. <laughs> like, come on, man. Look at this, man. Who the, who on God's green earth would buy this? Like some Triple G fanboy created this doll, okay? Literally some Triple G fan, some butthurt, effeminate, emotional Triple G fanboy literally made this. And they're selling it to other emotional but her triple G fanboys. Like, God, this damnest thing I ever seen here. This is ridiculous, man. This, 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 it's ridiculous. I, I mean, God, dog. Would you buy this? Would you take this into your home? I mean, think about it. Would you buy this? Nobody in their right mind would buy this crap. Nobody. And the coach means nobody in their right mind would buy this crap. Well, this public, this doll pretty much sums up Triple G's career. That, that's what this doll does, okay? So Triple G signs a DAZN deal. Signs that deal, hook, line, and sinker. But there's just one thing. Abel Sanchez let it be known out of his five necks, okay? He said, hey, I don't care if Danny Jacobs beats the guy that, you know, who's promoted by the guy with spatulas. The guy with spatulas and fishnets. That guy, Okay. If Danny Jacobs beats the guy who's promoted by spatulas and fishnets, then Janati Golovkin is not going to fight Danny Jacobs. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Janati Golovkin is not going to fight Danny Jacobs. Wow. Mm. Huh. How are you going to explain this? I know, I know. You guys are, well, Triple G, you know, hey, Triple G is old right now, and he's worried about his money and blah, 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 blah. You know what Triple G going to do? And I told y'all this going to happen. Triple G, he's going to retire. He's got a six-fight deal. After them six fights are over, Triple G out the game. He done, okay? He going to leave the game. Triple G going to check. He going to have about $15 million in his bank account. And Triple G going to think back. He going to say, dang, you know what? I had a lot of stupid Triple G fans. A lot of triple, a lot of, not fans, but I had a lot of fanboys. Sorry. I got to distinguish between the fans and the fanboys. He's going to say to himself, I got a lot of stupid Triple G fanboys. And you Triple G fanboys, you have put money in my account. You've done this thing so great. And, you know, I appreciate you guys putting all this money into my account. That's what he's going to say. But you guys were stupid. You guys thought that I really was going to fight somebody. You thought I was going to fight somebody for legacy. I played you stupid Triple G fans. I played all of y'all. And now look at you guys. You guys are now you're going to be groveling and sniveling and because I'm not there anymore. But, you know, I'm going to go off into my country where I'm from and I'm going to enjoy the fruits of my labor or I'm going to enjoy the fruits of the labor that I didn't take. I'm going to enjoy the fruits and you guys will be sitting here just looking around looking stupid like you always do. That's what Triple G going to be thinking in his head. I mean, can you blame him? Can you blame him? Who would want a fan base like this? Who would want a fan base of a bunch of grown men, okay, a bunch of grown virgin men that all they do is worship? Like, who, who would want that? Now, if it was a fan base of a bunch of women, now, that's the subject. That's subject for another video. Triple G don't have a bunch of women. He got a bunch of grown, rusty, musty, dusty, crusty, grown men on him. That's who he got. Gosh. Well, now, you know, and I guess the zone, they're going to condone him fighting bums, okay, because that's what he planned on doing. 
This guy don't want to take no challenges. This guy don't want to, he don't want to challenge himself. I mean, he got beat up by Danny Jacobs, and guess what? That was it. That was enough for him. Him getting beat up by Danny Jacobs was enough. So, no mas. No mas, okay? And, you know, him getting pieced up a little bit by Kell Brook. Yeah, and Kell Brook was a welterweight. This guy goes down, fights a welterweight. <laughs> and everybody, you know, people say, well, how come we can't give him credit for that? Really? You want us to give him credit for fighting a welterweight? Psh, I don't think so. Don't think it's going down like that. Don't think it should go down like that. Do you? This guy's a bum. Okay, this guy's a bum. And you guys can order the Bum Hunter Edition. You can get this right now. Order one for $29.99. And you know what? Guess what? We're throwing some cherries for free. Huh. I'm done. <laughs>